Hey everyone, a nerd named Mark here, and a new video. A new video, one of my favorites. I've been waiting a whole month to do this, because I've been doing this almost, you know, every month for a couple months now. Uh, as we near the end of Kamen Rider Saber, the show, we also are nearing the end of Kamen Rider Saber, the Sodos. Because I have fresh from Japan, from one of my nice merchants I buy from, Kamen Rider Saber, Soto, book nine. I'm going to show off what's in it. And then uh, after I'm done building them all, we're going to get a, I'm going to do a video going over like the, how I did the, for book seven and eight, like a little 4k video showcasing them all done with all the stickers. I can only imagine how bad the stickers are going to be for freaking cross saber. So I hope they're not bad. So I already, I already popped the seal on this so we can see what's in there. Maybe because I took photos. Uh, oof. There you go. Look at all that. So, the first thing we have, which are going to be, obviously, two boxes to make each figure. Uh, usually, like, the base of the body, and then the one has the arms and this and that. So, right off the bat, first ones we got, boom. Just regular cross saber. And I think it's funny if, um, actually, I'll go over that in a second. Because I noticed this uh, briefly. And then next up we have, I believe this one is Crimson. The Crimson Cross Saber. When he has, you know, the uh, Storm Eagle book and his regular Brave Dragon and the, uh, what is the other one? I have it over here. Crap, I'm drawing a blank. I have too many books. I have too many books, so it's drawing, I'm drawing a blank. But that is the Crimson Saber. Uh, let's see. Next up, we have the three the collaboration one, which is basically the Common Rider featuring Saber. So that's when spoilers. If you haven't been up to date on the show, that's when he has the Lion Senki, um, the Lamp, the Alangia, and the Brave Dragon in each one with the Cross Saber. Next up, the one I've been waiting for since it was teased. The Kamen Rider Blades, this is the, what, uh, the Todagami, uh, Hyuju Senki. Boom. I can't wait. I'm hoping there's not a lot of stickers on this because of the white and the blue. So, I'm, from looking at the front of the box, I feel like it's not going to be too sticker heavy. I'm hoping a majority of it is just paint. Uh, and then, because we already got Sabella before, it just wouldn't be right. I'm not going to say brother in Japanese because a lot of people were doing counters of how many times she says it, but we got Darren Doll. Yep. So we're rounding out basically everything. Like, uh, And lastly, for the last two boxes, these are like accessory packs. So number 11, I'm going to do them one at a time so you can see. This one is going to have new molds for the helmets all the different you know senki sword drivers some with the swords in them stickers and books for upgrading everything so you can have you know the belts with more books in them to match them then box number 12 is going to have an espada and a blades head new version of their books more drivers the gun for freaking slash his nice rock hands uh, another display base and these little flags. And there's going to be one for Gaim, Zero One, and Saber. Um, I may have to individually get more of these for the stands. Even though it gets one of each flag. Because I do have the Chronicles Gaim done. And because of the Zero Ones that are featured in the Saber ones. I do have a good amount of Zero Ones. I am going to go back after Book 10 drops. And I'm going to most likely get some of the Saber or the Zero One uh, Soto sets because they've been showing up on Amazon US. Plus, the guy I ordered from Japan has some of them. He'll probably cut me a deal because they're older. I've already questioned him. I have already like inquired if, you know, he would, you know, give me a deal if I basically buy all the sets that he has. One of each, not like all the inventory because that would be just excessive. But yeah, that's book nine. But I kind of briefly touched on something that was funny and I want to go over it. So. With Sotos, you know, they have 
the usually the helmets on the top. And I noticed for the Crimson Saber and Featuring Saber, they don't show the helmet on it. I just thought that was kind of interesting because usually it's shown on the top of the box. Um, I'm really excited to make these. You know, uh, Saber starting really got me into a lot of things. I'm back in, I'm into the Sotos now. It kind of kickstarted me getting into the merch more because I've always been a fan of Kamen Rider. I've had a few things here and there. I bought some stuff when like yeah, uh, X-Aid was airing and a few things back when, oh, what was the other one? Zeo and Build and Decade. I bought a few things here and there when I saw them, but I never went like into it. I want to do a video eventually going over merch and like the evolution and where to get stuff a lot easier and this and that. I just kind of hinted at it in the podcast, but I really want to do a video about it. But I'm excited for book nine. Book ten, I don't even know what's going to be a part of it yet. I cannot wait because... And then we're going to get Revice Sotos. And I, uh, as of right now, so my Soto shell... Oh, camera froze. So as of right now, this is my Soto shelf right here. I actually moved stuff from. This is going to be my new Soto shelf, too, on the other side. I do have some of my Zenkaiser mini plaza, which I do need to build. Um, I also have a Yudo set one. I have to actually start building those at some point. Um, I've just been busy. But yeah, book nine. Can't wait for book ten. Um, and then we're going to get revised Sotos. And then I'm going to start all over again. But I thank you guys for watching. Um... Leave me comments about merch. What's what's new merch you picked up? I'm I'm always down to talk merch. Uh, I haven't even like started to talk about like my Ultraman merch, which is gonna be another video because Ultraman Trigger is so good. And yeah, I had to move my Ultraman shelf, that, which is now the Soto shelf, so you can't see the Ultraman shelf anymore. But I am gonna be doing some videos going over all my different merch shelves, uh, cost, where I got stuff, this and that. That's been like I'm organizing that and compiling that because I want it to be very accurate as possible and a lot of stuff I did get resellers and this and that from like eBay Mercari you know book off and Tokyo Center so like I'm compiling everything I save a lot of receipts because it's just an OCD thing and I have them all organized in like a little like little envelopes so I'm gonna go through and try and compile like how much I've spent on Toku merch since 2019 but that's gonna be a fun video that's it for this one I thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos and so you can see when uh my video after I build all these goes live. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.